What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bryson here. We're in the office and the house tour is officially coming this week. I will not let you guys down, all right? We just gotta get the house cleaned up. So plan for that video on Friday. But before we get into this video, this huge cash out, um, that's gonna actually take up the majority of this video. It'll be a pretty good video for you guys. I wanna let you guys know our huge whatnot is going live February 9th at six o'clock. Make sure you guys download the whatnot app in the description and get you guys a free $10 in credit. Again, link will be down in the description below for our huge whatnot on February 9th, which is Wednesday. We'll have a video on Wednesday as well. I'm gonna go for three again this week because I've just been on a roll, all right? I just feel unstoppable, Drew. Oh, you are. I just, it just, I, I don't know, man. Something's been hitting me this month. I wanna do three a week again. You guys seem to really be enjoying it. Make sure to drop a comment down below. Make sure you show the love for three videos a week, all right? You know, it's not easy. We respond to every single comment as well as give $25 cash app to a random comment in every single video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe down below, and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for the continued support. And is when we leave it. So we're back at the storage unit right now. If you guys haven't seen the last video, be sure to go check that out because there's loads of value. Um, and we kind of explain why we have the storage unit just in general. Now I did mention in the last video that we do a lot of wholesaling, got a bunch of DMs from that video saying, hey man, I'd like to be part of your wholesale list. And wholesaling for us is a big part of our business. It makes up about 30% of our monthly sales. And for us as a small business, um, I'm not sure if you guys know this or anything, but we don't have any investors and the company is purely owned by Bryson and I, and maybe at a later date, we can kind of go into the logistics of kind of how the equity is spread out between the two of us. With us not having any investors, cash flow is a huge part of making sure that our business is able to run on a day-to-day -day basis. So what happens is we've kind of grown a huge store bulk list. We make all these connections at sneaker cons and all the sneaker shows that we go to. We're able to add these store owners to our wholesale list. And basically on a month to month basis, we'll send out a list of pairs that we have in stock ready to ship. And they can either come to us in Arizona to come pick up these shoes or we can ship it out to them. And typically we sell our shoes for market or a bit higher. And the reason for that is because store owners know that they're coming from a legitimate source, but we always have pairs on hand. And with the whole Nike logistics back and issues going on and people not being able to get shoes right now and so limited um, amount of pairs being dropped having shoes is a huge advantage for us so we have one of our store owners on our bulk list right now coming through the shop they want some pairs um again and we're going to wholesale them some extra stuff that we have and we have a bunch of cool grays and stuff back here tons of oreo four some retros and stuff some slides a whole boatload of black and white dunks i, I think i have like 150 pairs of black and whites total so we're going to kind of go through see what he wants see what he doesn't want for everything he does not want if you're a store owner out there that is interested and be, being a part of the wholesale distribution aspect of common hype uh shoot me a message at the common hype on instagram i'll get you added to that list store owners only please um if you guys need stock i'm able to provide that to you i'll just send you a google spreadsheet of everything that we have in stock the price shipped and uh, if you guys are interested in taking some pairs um all you gotta do is hit me up get the payment done and then we'll get those shipped out to you so anyways we were supposed to do this a couple days ago but hassan insisted on having a fresh cut <laughs> bro i'm going on a youtube channel he gets millions of views. <laughs> oh my so God. a lot of the people are gonna see this, bro. I gotta look. I gotta look good, right? So we've not only done this today, but we've done this multiple times in the past. Multiple uh, for the OGs. For the OGs who know, he's been in the videos way, way back, and uh, he kept the lights on for a little bit. I've been buying bulk off Brandon since before even at a store, man. So shout out to Brandon. He yes. always hooks it up with pairs, especially when they're hard to find. You know what I mean? Like I'm definitely gonna be taking some cool grays. Um, you know, everyone has a list of like eight through ten right now, but ten, like ten and a half through twelve. Or a little harder to find and he has them he has oreos wow, look at that fade oh yeah you see this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyways real quick before we get into this uh explain to him kind of how we sell to you how it's an advantage to you just being able to grab the pairs since you're right around the corner put them in the shop even though we charge a premium for our service um, I mean the way I look at it is like sometimes he does charge like a little higher, but I'm not paying shipping I can put him in the store literally today start selling pairs today You know what I mean instead of waiting on them to come in and it's also just some stuff is just hard to find So it's like I mean if he has it sometimes you just got to pay to play it's stuff you need It's stuff that everybody needs literally it's like the top 50 selling shoes on StockX that everybody really needs for the most part and It's not a ton of bricks. I mean Sometimes we like bricks though, you know what I mean? We try to break the car over here. You yeah. can't build an empire without some bricks. Yeah, that's right. But. Anyways, we're gonna go through, through some pairs. Um, again, kind of just tell us what you want, um, what you don't want. Uh, we've kind of already built you a pre-pile. 
over here. I see. <laughs> he's able to sell gold hoop sixes. You're different yeah. for that. Bordeaux dunks, Bordeaux you know, dunks. Needs, yeah, RKOs. I, need um, I don't sell those for cheap. Let's make that clear. You can't find Bordeaux dunks anywhere besides this guy in RKO. Yeah, Bordeaux, Bordeaux and RKO pinks are one of the dunks I haven't actually stocked up on, you know what I mean? Like black and white dunks. I've been getting a lot of restocks on those, but um, yeah, some of these other dunks are just hard to find. And this guy always has them. He posts on his Instagram every other day, like restock, restock, restock. So it's like, damn, let me get one of the restocks. You should follow me on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sure. will. He also needs some Shadow 2.0s. Um, I got a whole bunch of sea foams right there, foam runners, a um, couple extra starfish, uh, a bunch of mocha men sizes. Nobody has men's mocha sizes. Everybody has has like eight through nine and a half but nobody has like 10 through 12 and, and we have like 15 <laughs> size 12 and daddy's got them here yeah, yeah i got them hopefully you guys are getting some insight from this but yeah we're gonna kind of go through uh, all the pairs he wants um we'll i'm not gonna go through every single pair right here but we'll probably do a recap here at the end in the next clip so uh we'll see you guys later. We already came to a deal on these cap and gun 11s, size 11. I couldn't even throw these in the store before he was like, I need them. Who, like, okay. who has cap and gun 11s dead stock? <laughs> no one. Find me somebody besides common height. This guy does. This guy. We're trying to figure out the price we said because we forgot. I thought it was 560. Really? I thought it was like 400. Yeah. <laughs> I run like 520 realize, on him though. I did not realize these went up so much. Holy cow. These are barely going for over retail when they drop. There's some sentiment to the shoe for me though because it was one of the first retro 11s I ever had in my collection. Oh, great. And honestly, one of my favorite <laughs> pairs. Awesome. So, so honestly, so I might even tell you because I beat my pair to shit. So 700? 700 to tow? Damn, yeah. it's supposed to go the other way. Mm -hmm. Let's just meet in the middle at like six, four, uh, 540. Um, you were at 560, I was at 520. I don't remember what we paid, but sure. Hey, why make money when you can lose it, right? Yeah. yeah. Motto of my life. Need, yeah. Are those paint trip lows? I haven't even seen these. Oh my God. What size are they? Five and a half. Why? They go for a check. Yeah, the paint trip mids were kind of slower, but these are actually kind of nice. How much? Uh, but, I mean, they go for a check. I right, run like 170. <laughs> <laughs> you about to get kicked out the storage unit right now. 180? Uh, no. What are you trying to look for on them? Last sales are all 210, 220, 230. I'd run you 210, which is actually, a, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I would do it. I just did two then. 210. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna sell them for 400. Yeah, no, no I, I did. Are we I really here right now? <laughs> We're on camera, I can't embarrass myself. I'll take them. <laughs> All right, I got some random dunks here. Oh, yeah, these are nice. Them. Yeah, you like them? Yeah, bro, my customers are gonna love these. That's crazy because they sat in my store forever. <laughs> my customers didn't like them. What are you running on these? 160. Oh, okay. That's a steal. <laughs> I know it is. Oh, are these all black and whites right here? Oh, uh, damn near, yeah. Damn, bro. Hello. Raging, uh, dude, I low key want a pair of these for the toe. Which one, the fives? Yeah, dude. Dude, they're pretty clean. I want anthracite. I'm just not the, the biggest. Oh, the, anth the anthracite's a fire. I just sold mine. I'm not a big fan of the suede though. These like these die off quick. Like honestly, they could have done better. But I mean, they're fire. Two fifty. Um, two two forty. No. What are they going for? Like two fifty. Eh, really like two forty. But I'm gonna charge you two fifty. Two forty five. Can I say five bucks? No, you can't. Two fifty. Next. Looks like I'm gonna have to skip lunch today. <laughs> uh, are these taxi 12s or Royal uh, Royalty 12s? Royalty 12s, yeah. These are going for like 270, I think, right now. These are taxi 12s. Royalty taxi. What are they going for, like 260, 270? They go for 235, 240, so 240. Oh. All right, 240 is cool. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's the bigger sizes, I think, that are going for more. Why am I selling you a six and a half Oreo? No. What do you mean? No. I'll pay tax. <laughs> <laughs> Need those electric greens, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh that goes with your vape tea, huh? 220. These are bricks, like really bricks. I think they're what are they going for? Like 230. 220? Yeah, that's cool. All right, thank you. You like those? Yeah. I don't think it's a bad. You thing. have a lot of eight and a half, huh? You have a lot of eight and a half. I, I think that was a guy who just came in with a collection of eight and a half. 270. Damn, these went up. Damn, really? Now run like 250. No shot. <laughs> If I, if I pay 270, I'm gonna have to tax for these. What are you shocked about that? <laughs> <laughs> you need? Mm, these I think I'm okay on, to be honest. Are these, do these do good for you? Perspective mint? Yeah, this is a big size of 10.5. So I'll probably pass on these. I'm not feeling too much. What are they going for? Mm, yeah, 250. Yeah, I'll pass on these. Yeah. I might keep these. Oh, Neon Forest? No, you're not. <laughs> I'm taking these. Back in the day, I used to hit the, I hit the fattest clip on those. Hey, we forgot something though. Can I get a fit check, bro? All right, give it to him. Gala trench coat. You know what I'm saying? Heard about it. Who's rocking trench coats? Not me. Hyde Park, Hyde Park tee. Uh-huh. 
with my Serenity Green Cargos. Heard them. Even though Andrew can't be with us today, I'll <laughs> yeah. inspire uh -huh. a pair of foam runners. About wow. two weeks ago, I've worn them, I think, half the day since. Like, these are so comfortable. There it is. Sales are all over the place, G. What are the, well, let me see. 463, 80, 430, 430, 460. You just sell them for more than four? Yes. That was an outlet pair. Literally, yes. I, was, I was getting these off of customers from the outlet for like 150, 160, 180, and just buying them. Like, they were getting them for like half off. I was moving them in store for like 250 to three, maybe. I would do 350. Can you do 340? I'll take them sure. All right. I think I had a full stock when they came out and they were hardly moving. I don't know why. It's a really clean retro. Now that they're sold out everywhere and I don't have any pairs left, they're, they shot up and everybody's asking for them like almost constantly. Like, hey, do you have any twist, twist 12s? And I'm just like, not really, no. Like, where were you guys at when I had 40 pairs? If any of my clients asked for twist 12s, bro, I'd be, I'd get them from. But yeah, um, but they don't last. How many pairs of these do you have? Just one? Just two. Two? Yeah. What sizes? Um, eight and a half, 260, 11 and a half, 280. Put 270 for both on your list, so it's like. What size are these? Six and a half Y. Yeah, I'll take these. How much? Uh, 170. What are they going for? 170. Like exactly? Y'all think I can trust Brandon? <laughs> yeah, I can. You can double check. I just, I, it's just, yours just so different for this one. Oh, don't tell me these are the gold hoops. And these good sizes. Eight and nine W. For those of you guys who don't know conversions, eight W is like a six and a half. Nine W is like a seven and a half, which is really good sizes for the females. 240. Um, 230 a pair. Oh, come on, you know I'm the only guy who buys these. <laughs> no, I got buyers. You'd be surprised. Last but not least, you're welcome for this one. Ooh, the what the fives. <laughs> these are fire, honestly. I always liked them as soon as they came out, even though they were kind of bricking. I think that's a clean shoe. It is kind of crazy. What's not to like about them? It's like three or four different fives in one. You know what I mean? You got this the Tokyo's, dude can you sell anything. Bowls, you got the Fresh Prince of Bel Airs in here. The undefeated fives. <laughs> I think it's all four of those. How much for these? 260. Yeah. Dude, this guy is not budging today. Did, did, he get, did he get enough sleep last night? Dude, we're so broke. He's not in a mood of we have a We have a new store to open. Yeah. All right, so that's 13. Yeah. I'm gonna support, I'm gonna help you guys out. 13? You're, you're gonna keep the lights on. <laughs> I do gotta check my inventory. I might have a couple 13s right now. So, be 310 if you want them. All right, I'll just pass on them for now. Right. Funny story about the lightning fours. I paid so high for them when they first came out it was ridiculous and barely profited on my whole first batch of like 40 or 50 pairs it wasn't until after i restocked them that i started profiting on those but it is what it is sometimes you just make mistakes uh birdo sixes these do okay surprisingly in store i thought they would do better it's a birdo but i'm not sure what people aren't really feeling on these what are you looking for on them uh 220 i mean for retail i can't say no <laughs> <laughs> i also bought this one for you are these racer blue mid yeah Someone was just naming the page about these. 190. 180. No shot. Really? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. What are they going for in stock extra? Is that fair? Less sales, 198, 198, 229, 176. Alright, that's fine. Damn! Gee, when I found these, I was like, holy cow. What are these? Oh, the dark Concord 12. <laughs> This is a hard. This is a hard shoe, honestly. I kind of always wanted a personal of these, but I they spike too, they, bro. They sell so fast in store. It's hard for me to take one off the shelf. You know what I mean? That's it's great. So four hundred. Sheesh. What are you looking for, though? Um, I'm looking for three ten. Just do three, even. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, the sun. Where's Andrew when you need him? <laughs> oh, I have another one. What does? Oh, uh, the five. Okay. We're on him. What do we? What do we say on the last pair? Um, I'm about to see. So this is 11 and a half. What was the other size? Um, it doesn't even matter to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the 11 and a half goes for 300 though, so I'm charging you that. The 10 and a half is 270. And a half Carmine 250. That's actually mm, good price. I'd probably only do 240 on them. Carmines are okay. You can't move Carmines? They move okay. Like, you know they've been sitting on shelves for a minute. Like it, it, in a couple months, everyone's gonna want to buy them, but like right now it's still a little soon since after they release. Like, Carmines do okay. Would you say two what? 40. Yeah. Sometimes you got gotta, him like, again. Stand, sometimes you gotta stand your ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't let that little man bully you. Mm, not really. What are these? These are nice. I'm not too big of a fan. That would sell in the day for you. What are they going for? Uh, it's like super cheap. I'll take them, but I think they're called Aquilos. What would you guys do? Would you guys buy these for 130? <laughs> you sold a, a handful of those in store. It's only one pair. Yeah. I'll try it. See how the people like them. Well, there's no more, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna sell it and then be like, good job. Need? Yes. I actually like these too. I'm a big Jordan 1 low enthusiast, to be honest. Yeah, you sold so many of the game rolls I sold you. 
Dude, honestly, I think it was like last year. He's going for a year before. He sold me a. Damn, really? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> he sold me a bunch of game royal lows. I think it was like a year ago or so. And honestly, they were selling so good, I wasn't even checking size scale. I was just taking all of them. I think I ended up with like 20 size 10 and a halfs. I want to say like all my other sizes sold out, and it just took me forever to get rid of those last 20 10 and a halfs. But I mean, they could shoot. They all moved. Hey, these look tried on though. So I'm gonna need a discount for that. I give him a wipe. Hey, we'll, pop, we'll pop, 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 pop in that rejuvenator tag right now. Say, <laughs> we'll throw him some rejuvenator. Yes, rejuvenator. Use the bit.ly link down below since we have no more uh, CH. What are you trying code. to do for these, like 240? No. How much? Bro, that's not even payout. Bro, you mean, that, look how much you had them for in store. You're gonna sell me more than you had them for in they store. They went up since I had them in store. The power of the storage unit. You know, could have bought them for that price in store, but you didn't. <laughs> All right, run like 270. That's fine. All right. I'll take them. <laughs> Got them. Got him again. You really don't want light bulb mids? Ten women, eight and a half men. No, I can take these. These are clean. You know what I'm saying? My customers love color blocking, like something different. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know someone's gonna, gonna eight and a half. I know you can put a fit this. together with that. Yeah, easy, bro. You know we got the fits at the store on deck. <laughs> Ten W. These go for a check, G. Really? Three fifteen, three forty four. Damn, that's the Addison Ray power right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what are you looking for on them? Um, I would give you for two ninety. Two eighty? Yeah. But you won't sell these to anybody else. Come on. <laughs> 280. 290. That's a shoe I got, bro. I've had those forever and I don't care. I will I will hold those. I think those are going to be the Ella. They just keep going off. Alright, whatever. 10 bucks, I'm going to make or break me. Bro, you, you let a TikTok girl renegade in a pair of mids one time. Bro. Changes the market. That's what I'm saying. Do you want Do you want this mismatch pair? Was there a TikTok girl that wore those? Yeah, mismatch bro. Pair? That was yours. That's the Addison Ray pair. Do you want this one too? This is an AW. That's a money size. But you got to pay the math. Bro. What are they going for? Uh, 429, 330, 418, 344, 450. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be, uh, it's gonna be hard to move for like around 450 to 5. I may hold those if you're not paying NASA, honestly. Just hold them then. You trying to get like 420 for them? I'm trying. No, I wouldn't be that much. I'd be at 375. I can probably run like 350 max. I hope. Here you go, my boy. Keep holding. All it takes is <laughs> Charlie. He'll have those next time you come. Right, right. Next time. Yeah. Nike, please restock those. You gotta pay the high. Yeah, shimmers. Because I paid the high. Did you, didn't you have a lot of shimmers? I did. So not, not anymore? We or, sold them all in so store. Wholesale, sore, uh, 9W, you got to give me 360. I'm trying to see, what did I pay on my last sizes? 350? No. Take off 10? Why? Because <laughs> I, I can't do it. Come on, man. Look That's at such the, a good shoe, look bro. At, look at the That's going to be a $450 shoe by summer. Listen, by the way, I know there's going to be comments like, it's just 5 bucks. It's just 10 bucks. Don't care. Hey. Ten. Five, ten bucks over th hundreds of pairs adds up. Adds Literally, bro. Up. They don't know how many pairs we actually buy. I want to say in January, I probably bought over 500 pairs. So if you could do the math, five to 600 pairs, take five or 10 bucks off of that. Do the math. You know what I mean? So it's great for you. It Not definitely, it definitely adds up. But honestly, but they, everyone wants speaking those. Speaking of selling quick, these actually, move. Shout out to Brandon for these. I'm not going to lie. So we had already kind of talked about these and did a deal on them like uh what was it back in like january i'm not saying like it's so long ago it was a couple weeks he was waiting for them to come in through shipping and market went up like 25 or 30 bucks and he stayed on the price we agreed on he didn't even bring it up to me like hey bro i need a little more they went up you know what i mean and it was like i bought like what 20 pairs off you yeah it was, it was a check so i think uh they were going for like 325 330 and he gave them to me for like 300 a pair now he could have tried to get 20 bucks more out of each one and i might have done it sometimes your reputation is key so 20 pairs times like an extra 20 bucks is only 400 bucks. You know what I mean? It's usually just in this game. It's not really worth like uh, losing going a back on a deal or f***ing up a relationship over just a little bit of money like that. So shout out to this guy for that. Thank you. And he's now, getting you today though. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to get me today. But <laughs> <laughs> well, these three, actually sold so quick. Three size seven W's at 310 a pop and the 11 and a half. Oh my gosh. You're going to have to give me a check. Bro, Look you know. That, Look at that. Yeah, bro. I see it. Holy s***. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I probably have to pass. Yeah. It's just a little too much because I can only I only move these for like 425. Yeah, it's cool. 310 on the sevens though, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll take these all these. Three sevens, yeah. All right, you guys, you just saw that little cash out we did with Hassan. Not little, actually. Pretty big cash out. He took a good amount of pairs, so appreciate our boy Hassan always. Got a couple of boxes in here. Might as well take them down since we're in here, and then we're gonna head out. And check me real quick, Bean. Yeah, let's we'll right. start down low. And I got the off white dunks, the pine greens. These are the off-white dunks before the lot dunks, all right? And then I got the Empton cargo pants that I busted out for the first time. You guys saw me Jeez. unbox these a couple videos ago. And then a vintage NASCAR tee. And then our boys at Hijacked, the hoodie they gave us at Kobe's towards the end of that video. So, you know, repping all the repping all the boys' brands today. Yeah, he's for the people. For the people. So this box right here is a bunch of dunks that we're investing into right now that I- We can't I, say yet. I'm not allowed to show you yet. 
But uh, when the time comes, you'll see a whole video on these, all right? So They'll be up by the time you see that video. Yeah, like Brandon said, uh, we, we'd like to give you guys our investment advice. If you're in good chefs, you guys already know about what's in that box. But for the rest of you guys, uh, we got to buy our pairs before we can <laughs> give you guys the investment. Because every time we give you guys investment advice, it just no one wants to sell us their pairs after, which makes sense. It's weird how that works. Yeah, we got to make some money too, guys, all right? Contrary to popular belief. Listen, you guys are going to hear the reference a lot now about just how broke we are. <laughs> this new store that we've been looking into, and we haven't gotten like too in depth about it yet in the channel, but we're moving locations. We're going into a bigger space. It's gonna be a bigger. little bit of time, a lot bigger actually, but it's gonna be some time before we're actually into the place because we have to build the whole thing out from scratch. So it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a lot of money. Um, a lot of you guys have been supporting us on our hat drops, our merch, um, supporting the website, making online orders if you guys can't come in because you don't live in, in Arizona. Um, so we just wanna let you guys know all that support, it means a whole lot to us. You guys have uplifted this company um, and you know we've outgrown a space in a year. But yeah, you guys have given us a lot of opportunities. We're very thankful for all you guys. Um, and without your support, we wouldn't be able to do the things we're doing. So we really appreciate it. We got another pack of dunks right here. Can't show those. I probably can show them. Random. Little one off. Wow. wow. I love those. The zebra cakes. These are fire. Yeah, Hard are. to wear. What do yeah. you think about these, Steve? He doesn't like them. I don't. I don't like those. Wait, do? who doesn't like them? You don't like them, right? I like them. Someone doesn't. Like no, like no. Them. Some. Brandon, yeah. Brandon, you're the one who doesn't like these, right? I feel like I like. I like the. I like any shoe with that cream. It just works yeah. for me. It's just like nice. So we got that pair, and uh, we're gonna hold off showing you guys the rest of these for the meantime. Like I said, we're broke. We gotta make a couple bucks. But this new location, I promise you guys. I don't want to talk about it too much, but wherever we do end up, because nothing's final yet. Um, once we kind of lock in. Um, wherever we're gonna go and, and put it on paper. We'll talk to you guys more about it. We'll take you there We'll show you but until then um, just kind of knock on wood. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves I don't want to you know jinx anything so I'm trying to be as calm about it as possible But we are very excited. I don't think you guys understand the scale that we're gonna take this stuff um, It is a sneaker store, but there's a lot of a lot of opportunities in this space um, And I, we hope to take you guys along for the journey. So it's gonna be pretty awesome Just a couple unboxings right there though and then Do you want to show them those, some of those Air Force Ones? So we got a pair of these in size 11, I believe. Brand new. You guys can hit the website for these. So crisp. So crisp. You guys know how yellow the 10 collection gets. So the 10 was the first run of these. These, the Blazers, um, 97s, Prestos, Prestos um, all the classics of these. So got a new pair of these in. But you guys can see all this counter space is because we don't have floor space. So we every day we have to figure out how we're going to fit the new inventory in. We just saw 40, 50, 60, maybe pairs of dunks right there that got to make it out to the floor at some point. So yeah, we're running out of space. That's why we're expanding. We can't wait to tell you guys more about it. But um, for the meantime, just stay tuned. We appreciate all your support. Tell them, Brandon, tell them how thankful we are yeah, for them. We really are. Uh, it means a lot. Everything we're doing right now, um, including the clip that you saw in, in terms of bulk selling, everything we're doing is to create more cash flow so we can really make this store something to be really excited about. And I think that's what we're trying to do. Um, we're just trying to accumulate as much capital as possible right now. Because again, as I said earlier in the storage, you know, we, um, it's just Bryson and I, that's it. That's what kind of founded the company. We are very incredibly grateful to have three incredible mentors in Johnson, my dad, and then Nick, um, who uh, is Tony's dad, if you guys know anything about Common Breaks. But uh, they've helped us out a lot and um, and just doing all this stuff and, and kind of giving us advice to what we want to do. And again, we don't have any investors, it's just us. And I think some people do have a lot of investors. Some people obviously purchase um, equity in their company for tons of money and there's nothing wrong with that. But our business model is all based around like we want to just building a great team. Up. All the guys that we've put together so far, Drew, Tommy, Bean, Steven, Nate, all those guys, um, Tony even, everyone that's been a part of the journey, even if they're not with us still, everyone's made an impact and our goal is just to build a great team and, and continue to build this brand and take care of everyone as much as we can. Um, even some of the comments are like, you know, some of the advertisements we've been doing, um, you know, with some of our long-term partners, but as well, some of the, some of these deals in the videos, you know, we try and, and make those ads uplifting and we're very selective about even the people that we work with for, for advertisements, even though companies will throw money at you, you know, to get space in our videos, we're still very selective because, you know, we want to push stuff onto you guys that we believe in. Right. Um, but all that money, you guys, it's going to the new location, it's going into inventory, it's going into growing the company. You know, you guys don't see us rocking crazy chains and stuff and, and buying nice cars and we don't have you know nice houses and stuff you know all that stuff will come with we time would like to yeah, yeah, yeah you live at your parents nice you live at your parents it'll, like, it'll we're come just with time investing but everything we're just not there yet and i hope you guys know um all you guys support it, it's just growing into growing this company so we can't do it without you guys that's why we appreciate you guys so much 
Um, and we try and, you know, remind ourselves every day that you guys are the reason that, you know, we're able to be in this position as well as everyone that, you know, shops with us, just supports us. Just dropping a comment, you know, helps the channel grow. You know, even if you can't afford something on the website or, you know, it's just not time. But I was telling them, like our hat drops, you know, our merch, you know, stuff like that. It, it's all it's all part of a bigger plan. So we really appreciate yeah. it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on this year. We've been very stressed out. We're, we're at the store as much as we can be to film. But other than that, we're at home. And I know a lot of you guys come out of your way to come and see us and stuff like that. So in the new location, it'll all be under one roof and we'll be there all the time to, you know, come and see you guys. So we look forward to to getting to that point. And it's, it's a while away. Like I said, it'll be at least four months at the very minimum. But, you know, four months goes pretty quick because we've been open for a year and a half yeah. and it feels like we opened yesterday. That's right. So. Yeah, that's my spiel.